Right, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to answer the million dollar question and show you exactly how to crimp hook links effectively because it's a question we get asked loads and loads of times. People worrying about how to crimp a hook link properly. Um, people worry about the effectiveness of them, how strong they are. But I can assure you, if you do it well, you are going to have the strongest possible join between the hook link, swivel and hook that you can possibly have. Much stronger than a knot you're going to tie, okay? So you're going to need one of these. This is the crimp tool, okay? It's back in stock now, um, which is brilliant. It's been out of stock for ages. So ideal during lockdown, if you wanna get yourselves online and order it from uh, the stores that are doing online service at the moment, that'd be fantastic because you can now do what I'm gonna take you through doing stage by stage. Inside every crimp tool packet, there are two sizes of crimps, okay? You've got large and small, and that is to cater for different diameters of hook link. This is probably uh, the two most favored hook links for the spinner rig, the boom in 25 and 35. Uh, that's what I'm gonna be doing my demonstration with. I'm gonna use the 35 pound, because that's the one I use the most. It's also worth noting that you can use multiple other hook links as well for crimping. The most important thing is that they're nice and stiff um, and the diameter is, I suppose, as thick as it can be that goes through the barrel of the crimp. That's really important. You don't want a loose line going through a big barrel, if you like, like rolling an orange down a Mersey tunnel. You want it to be nice and tight as it goes through the crimp barrels. Um, so almost imagine like a bullet going through a shotgun, nice and tight. Um, so those higher diameter, stiffer hook links are absolutely perfect for it. You can use the mouth trap. You, some people have tried it with the IQ, fluorocarbon in like 20 or 25. I haven't. Um, and then the other one that's really good for it is the hybrid stiff. So those are the ones that I would recommend you do crimping with. So stage one, I'm just gonna peel off a bit of boom um, and cut that. So uh, my favorite length, if you like, for a boom is about seven inches, seven to eight inches. Uh, you can go shorter, you can go longer, uh, but because I use them mainly on a helicopter rig, that's a nice starting point uh, for your hook link length, okay? Right, so now what you wanna do is cut this line at an angle so it goes through the crimp the best, okay? See that? Just a little angle on it. Right, next job is to take a large crimp out. This is the one of the ones that come complete with a crimp tool. Sort that out. To your diagonal bit, we're gonna take the large crimp because that's what goes best with the 35 pound boom, look, and then just slide that on. That goes on brilliantly. So now you've got options, okay? This is where you could add a spinner swivel, a spinner ring swivel, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use one of the ready tied spinner ends, spinner hook sections. And I'm gonna put that straight on because that comes with a lot of the gubbins that I'm gonna need anyway. Um, and then I can always uh, take the hook off, but keep the spinner swivel, uh, the spinner ring swivel on there. So that's what I'm gonna use. Right, okay, so dead simple. Put the ring swivel, or the spinner ring swivel that comes with the uh, spinner hook end onto the line and then simply thread the other side of the tag end through the other side of the barrel on the crimp, okay? Now, some people like to have this tight to the swivel. I like to always leave a loop because I like the extra movement um, that is enabled with that extra hinge ability. So that's my, my personal preference. Right, now before I put the crimp on the other end, I like to put a dark matter anti-tangle sleeve on. I always use these because this is what I use as, um, if you like, a sleeve to go over the quick change swivel options that I have, uh, that I normally use on a helicopter rig. So that, that slides on now. I'd rather do that before I put a crimp on at the other end, okay? Slide on the large crimp like that, and then, Take the tag end and push through like so, okay? So with all the bits uh, on the crimp now, the lines through, what I do is I pull the long, the long bit, if you like, 
to, to get the length of my hook link. So I pull the tag end through, pull the long bit, pull the tag end through, pull the long bit until I've got the hook link to, to my desired length. So I can just weigh that up there. It's roughly seven inches. Okay, so now you're gonna need your crimp tool. You'll notice there's two sizes, large and small. Ironically, the largest for the large crimp, which is what I'm using, and the smallest for the small crimp, which is not what I'm using. So all I'm going to need to use is that cavity that has the letter L underneath it or above it, whichever way you can see it. <laughs> all right, so next stage coming up. Right, okay, this is the most important part now when you're about to crimp, all right? So everything's through. And what you'll see, if you can, if it stays in focus, the line, one is going through one barrel, the other's going through the other, they've not crossed over, everything's lovely and straight, okay? All right, and that's how it needs to go into the crimp tool, okay? Like this, look, flat, lovely, everything's straight, going through symmetrically, perfecto. All right, so everything's in there now, it's locked in the large hole, um, I'm holding the line on the other side so it doesn't twist. Nice big squeeze, keep it squeezing. And that's it, that's all you need to do. Pop it out, have a look at that crimp, look, everything's straight. So we're gonna repeat the process with the other end now. Everything's in there nice and straight. Large section in there, squeeze down, use two hands if you want. And that's it, it's finished. So pop that out, okay? So now I have two crimp tens. And now it's time for you not testing. Right, so I now have a puller tool at the hook end, okay? And that's, if you see, look, the swivel is free. I've not put the, the puller tool through the swivel or anything, just concentrating on the loop area to pull that everything, make sure it's tight and strong and then chod it tall at this side to, to encompass the larger loop, okay? That's it now, and all I'm gonna do is pull that, look, that is absolutely, oh, I'm giving that everything I've got, which ain't that much to be fair, but that is rock solid, all right? So I know that is perfect, and I've straightened the hook link. So all you have to do now is cut, the tag end. Some people like to blob them. If your crimps are good, you shouldn't need to do anything. Do the one at the hook end. A perfectly crimped, dead simple to do spinner rig. So just use exactly as I've shown you, the right crimp to the right ball on the crimp tool. Just squeeze it down in that cavity. You don't need to use the other part of the teeth. That is as strong as an ox. That's never coming undone. And I did get a question on social media the other day. They said, how long do the crimps last? Well, I've had some of these booms on rods traveling all over the world. I've used the same ones for probably four to five months, you know, and not changed them. The only time I've changed them is if I've wanted to shorten or lengthen the rig. So that is how good they are. That's how resilient they are over time. Just do it. It's dead simple to do. Follow those instructions. You will not go far wrong at all.